Well, what's up, everybody? Praise the Lord. I'm so glad that you're with us. So excited to be with you today for another video. I'm excited. I know you're excited. You can't be part of this church and not be excited. So I'm glad you're here. If you're a visitor, we welcome you. So glad you're with us. Whoever invited you did you a favor. If you don't know who I am, I'm Pastor John. I'm the senior pastor of the best church on the planet. God loves me enough. He allowed me to pastor awesome people. Me and my wife, she's not here. I'm by myself right now. But Pastor Aisha, we pastor the church, so we welcome you and glad that you're with us. So let's dive in. We've been in a wonderful teaching on radical authority. This is the year of radical faith for radical results. And so we've been talking about being radical in different areas of our life, and we've been discussing being radical in our authority. And so we've given a definition of authority. In case you haven't, I'll just kind of review it. Authority is the delegated power and permission to rule, to govern, or to manage according to a predetermined plan. Authority is the right to exercise power. And we've been reinforcing that, that authority on the earth is all about exercising power. According to the word of God, exercising power is what comes out of your mouth. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. So the exercise of power that God has given us is the ability to say things with our tongue, and we shall have what we say if we believe what we say. The Bible talks about that your tongue is one of the most powerful weapons of mass destruction that God has ever given you. It can be mass destruction for you, blowing up stuff, or against you blowing up your own life and the enemy wants to use your tongue against you so the Bible says take no thought saying we got to be careful what we say you got to think before you speak so that's what we've been in using our radical authority now what we've started to talk about which is real awesome and I've been waiting to get to this point I've been telling our church that I couldn't wait to get to this point. When we first started this series, we brought up a graphic and it's a demolition ball that's connected by a chain. You might remember it and it looks like it's being snapped off. And I told our folks, our church family, that we were gonna get to that ball at some point. Well, we're at that some point right now because what, I, what we're beginning to talk about is the radical authority diminisher. The radical authority diminisher because there is something that will diminish your radical authority. You can walk in this authority, you can be speaking all you want to speak, but there is a diminisher that Satan uses to try to diminish or shut down our authority. And that is offense, being or being offended or getting offended or being used to offend somebody else. Offense is the radical authority diminisher. It will shut down your authority if you get offended or you are being used to intentionally offend other people. Now, here's what offense is. It's a perceived violation or attack of wrongdoing, which causes hurt, anger, bitterness, and resentment. Now, the key word there in that definition is perceived. Perceived, because offense most times is a result of your perception, what you perceive to have been said, what you perceive to have taken place. An offense is nothing to play with. The Bible says that an offended person is harder to win than a walled city. Offense is dangerous and it's deep because when you really get offended, it becomes really, really hard to reach you which is why you got to guard yourself from offense as well as guard yourself from being the one that's offending other people. Here's what I don't think we get, and we're going to cover a lot of stuff in this series. I'm just wetting your appetite. Here's what I don't think we get, and that is how much the enemy works on us, prodding us to get offended. He prods us in different ways, and there's different things that he uses to try to get us to take the bait and get offended. The enemy can't make you get offended. He can't make you be an offender, but he can throw your bait that causes you to take the bait and you get offended or you are the one that's being the offender. And the Bible talks about God help you to be the one that offenses are coming through. We're going to cover in this teaching satanic intrusions that Satan wants to intrude your thought life with different things to get you to take the bait of offense. Number two, saints' interpretations. Saints' interpretation. The saints interpret jacked up stuff 
Look at your neighbor that's in the group and go, he's talking about you. Saints, man, interpret stuff off in left field someplace, and it's a demonic bait to get us into offense. Also, social intimidation. We're going to deal with that. That's instigators, people that want to be instigators, and we take the bait. And either we are the instigator or we're being instigated against. And so we're going to cover those in this teaching because they're very, very, very important for you to understand about how offenses take place. There's documented scripture, man, documented cases of offense that we're going to look at in the Bible, even as Jesus was on the planet and what he experienced as well. Jesus had to be tempted with offense, but he didn't take the bait because it says he was a high priest that was tempted on all points. So, but without sin, which means he didn't take the bait. So this series is awesome. I can't wait to teach this section of this teaching on radical authority. Because if you don't get this, if you don't get not getting offended, and offense is a choice. You don't have to get offended. But if you don't get this, your radical authority goes out the window. You're talking a lot of words, but nothing's happening. So you don't want to miss this section of teaching because it's going to guard you and thus protect your radical authority. All right, well, I got to go. I'm out of time. Just wanted to whet your appetite for this series. You might, might, might be saying, give me more. Well, come here. I'm ready to disperse the meal. You got to come here on Sundays and Wednesdays, but it's going to be very, very good. We're going to be in this for a minute, so you need to get here and get all of it so you protect your authority. Now, before I leave, we always give you some questions. So I want to give you a couple of questions. So number one, you know, have you ever been offended? Have you ever been offended? Based upon the definition we gave, you might have to pause and rewind. I'll wait, go. Okay. You, well, have you ever been offended before? And if you have been offended, this is still the first question, how did it happen? How did it happen that you got in offense? Okay. Based upon our definition, how did that happen? And what was the outcome of that? Second question, how did you get out of the offense? How, what did you have to do to get out of the offense? Because getting out of offense has nothing to do with the person that offended you. It has everything to do with you. How did you get out of the offense? Question three, have you ever been the one to, that the offense flowed through? Were you an instigator? Have you been the one to intentionally allow offenses to come through you and discuss that and be honest because a lot of people have done that. So three great questions. They will help us as we are going to settle in to this teaching, and I can't wait, man. We're going to get the devil out of this, out of our lives in this area, so we can walk in radical authority and exercise true biblical power. All right, I got to go. Love you so much. Always, always love joining you in this time, and um, can't wait to see you here next time. A lot of stuff going on. Make sure you're around. Love you so much. Pastor Aisha always closes this way. There's victory one place on the planet. If she was here, I would go, honey, where is that? She would go, in Christ Jesus and her angelic voice. Love y'all. Be blessed.